Hello Libras, I wasn't going to do a reading for you guys, but I just got inspired to do a reading specifically for you guys because the moon is in your sign. So this is just a mini, very quick reading to see what this new moon specifically is bringing in for you. Check out the air sign reading, but let's see what the moon has specifically for air signs. Ooh, we have commitments or new contracts because I feel like this is just a time where you're focusing on money right now, Libras. But with this Taurus energy, um, could be a Taurus that you're dealing with, but new opportunities. You're making major decisions and making major decisions with balance here with this Hierophant energy. Or maybe you're choosing to run off and get married to somebody. Or maybe you're um, choosing to be committed to someone with this Hierophant energy. This could be a married woman to me. But moving, making major decisions with balance here, Libras. Maybe you're not doing that back and forth thing. Maybe you're very confident in your decisions right now. Okay, okay, okay. New moon energy with the moon. Pisces energy here. The moon is in your sign, Libras. This is you manifesting with the sign. Feeling your own energy. Feeling yourself here with this new moon. This is you manifesting. Taking advantage of all the opportunities that are coming your way. Okay? Interesting, Libras. Let me know if you're making major decisions, having major money coming your way, and using this new moon energy down in the comments. Ooh. Knight of Wands energy in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. If this is a love reading for you, this could be you releasing a player under this new moon, releasing negative cycles or toxic relationships, or this could be you just not worried about dating at all, not worried about dating, only worried about things that are worried about serious commitments and worried, focused on things that you're manifesting, working on right now with this um, Knight of Wands in reverse. I don't know why I'm re trying to read that and it's throwing me off. Excuse me. Ah, the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy here. Here we go. We can feel you here. This is you releasing yourself. This is you feeling stuck, probably in your own head and not being confident and making decisions here is what I'm getting. You weren't feeling confident and making decisions, and I feel like with this new moon energy, it's just giving you the confidence to say, fuck it, this is my decision, and we're just going to deal with it with this Eight of Swords, releasing yourself, releasing that um, inner turmoil, that um, inner conflict in your mind with this Eight of Swords energy here. That's you guys. Okay, Libras. And the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. This could be breadcrumbing if it was if this is a love reading for you. This is the um, energy that you're feeling. But if this is a business opportunity, this could be you at work or with a business partner that's leading you on, breadcrumbing you, telling you that they're giving you that something's going to come, going to come, and it doesn't come. This is you releasing that energy. You're not going to stay in that situation for much longer. You're figuring out a master plan on how to get out of that energy with this new moon. The new moon is clearing out things that are no longer serving you. That stagnant opportunity, that feeling stuck, the moon is clearing that out for you. It is forcing you to restore that at, um, that balance with that Eight of Swords moment. Four of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. This is you taking a break. Maybe this is a forced break, a break you didn't want to take, or a break that you just said, oh, I have to take. Um, but this is you focusing on yourself right now. Um, taking some time out, maybe you were having a lot of anxiety, or you were feeling like things were just coming at you from every which way, but this is you Take some time to focus on yourself right now and restore that balance. Try to reset the foundation here with this Four of Swords energy. The Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is new opportunities coming your way. This could be new opportunities in love. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person. Or these could be new business opportunities, new opportunities at work. But this are, these are new opportunities, new opportunities that have, um, that you have interest. How do I want to say this? These are opportunities that you can count on. These aren't like the Knight of Pentacles that are that is in reverse right now that you've been breadcrumbed and you're you're not seeing anything. This cup is full. This is a cup being presented to you. Somebody's going to show you that they have something to offer you with this Knight of Cups energy. That's what I'm trying to say. And the hangman, again, under this moon, your moon, your moon energy, you're releasing things. You're releasing things that are no longer serving you, people, places, and things. You're just letting go. You're just not dealing with it anymore. You're just, oh, whatever happens, happens is what I'm getting with this hangman energy. Okay, major arcana. Just letting things go underneath this new moon. Ace of Cups. If you're releasing old love, new op love opportunities are coming into you. Or maybe this is you just taking care of yourselves right now. Focus on you. Self-care right now with this Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio energy. And then we have the world. This is a major pause. This is a big break before the start of a brand new journey. So where I was saying you were gonna, you were taking a pause out to focus on yourself, this is the universe forcing you to do so. So right now with this new moon, the universe, the angels, whatever it is that you believe in, because um, this is also on um, Palm Sunday right before Lent, or it was, this is now Monday. It's 
one o'clock in the morning. Um, but this is the time for you to take a major break, move, reflect on some things before you move forward in whatever it is that you're moving forward in. I feel like you've manifested a situation, and so you're really watching what you do, taking careful steps to level up so that you don't miss any opportunities at, on this next new journey, this new chapter. It could even be a new book that you're starting for yourself. Three of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. You could be having a brand new start after some type of heartbreak. Could have been in work. Could have been something that you're passionate in. Could have been a love opportunity. Could have been a third-party situation in love. But with this, you're releasing yourself from this situation, this heartbreak. Doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean that you won't have any feelings or like tomorrow you're going to wake up and, oh, I, won't, I don't care about that person anymore or that situation. No. This is just you saying, I'm not letting that situation hold me back because I know that there's something else coming very soon for me. So I'm just going to have to move forward, release it, and let it go with this Three of Swords energy in reverse. And then we have the card of being a strong, independent woman that is focused on herself and her money. Somebody that somebody is very that everyone is very attractive to and has their eye on the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is somebody who is very, very focused on themselves, focused on money. This is somebody who's very attractive, knows what they want, and knows how to get it with this Queen of Wands energy. Libras, this is just you taking total advantage of the situation of the new opportunities. Again, I feel like you've manifested this with this Moon energy, this Libra and Libra full Moon energy. Please, Libras, let me know if this resonated for you at all. Um, check out my social media. You can find me on there for a personal read. I am on Instagram at down the number two earth tarot, and I will check in with you soon. Have a great one. Bye bye.